Hi, it's Pavel with a C Sharp exercise from the book uh, Visual C Sharp How to Program, uh, Chapter 9, Exercise 5. Uh, it's called Sorting Letters and Removing Duplicates. We are to write a console app that inserts 30 random letters into a list. Uh, and by letters, they mean, you know, characters, A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. So we will have a list of characters. And we are to perform following queries on the list and display uh, the results. Uh, we are supposed to use link to sort the list in ascending order, in descending order, and also remove uh, duplicates. Now they are giving us a hint. A strings can be indexed like arrays to access a character at specific index. All right, so here's what I mean by a list of characters. There's three uh, characters. Now there's, uh, if you go to this uh, website, this is the ASCII table. And over here, uh, you can see the character A, capital A, has a value of 65. B has 66, C 67. In other words, they, you know, they're uh, sequential from 65 to, from A to 90, which is capital Z. So A through Z, that's three letters. And the values that uh, we will be uh, taking into account is 65 uh, through 90. 65 being A, 90 being Z. So uh, uh, it will probably make more sense uh, when I start coding. So let's just do that. First, let's do the uh, list of uh, characters. I'll call it letters. And we will, of course, create the list. Now, what we need is uh, a random uh, generation of these letters. It's, if we won't have A through Z, we will have you know bunch of A's, B's, C's, whatever letters are randomly uh, picked. So we will need a random object, and I'll just call it rand. And, it's, and um, I will create a, a single character variable for a for a single character. So uh, for a single letter, and it's, I'll just assign it a space for now. Okay, so first thing um, we need to get the or, or generate a random characters, thirty random characters, as the exercise uh, wants us to do. Like, technically, that could be one of each, which would be A, B, C, all the way through Z, but uh, that's very unlikely. Usually, there will be some duplicates, so that's why the exercise over here also calls for to remove the duplicates. Now, to ra get random letters, we go simply into a, into a for loop. I'll start from zero. I is less than 30. Remember that we are generating 30 characters. And... Uh, Within the loop, we will get the random character. So our letter, remember the character over here, that's our variable. We will assign a character, uh, random.next. And remember the, uh, the chart, capital A is 65, capital Z is 90. So we will randomly assign a number from 65 to 90 to it. So uh, let me just close that. Uh, so it's going to be random uh, number from 65 through 91 because it's uh, 91 is not inclusive but 90 would uh, if it just did 90 it would actually be only 89. All right so now uh, letter is a character, so we have to cast. This is an integer, but since uh, uh, every character has uh, an assigned integer value, we can cast it, uh, simply change it to a character. So now, this will uh, create or generate a random number from 65 to 90, and we will uh, cast it to a character. So let's say it uh, generates number 70. So what's gonna happen? We got the number 70 and it will assign a value of capital F to it. 
and it will loop 30 times uh, uh, create 30 random characters now we have to of course uh, save this uh, uh, character and we will save that into our list so our letters that add and we will add that letter to it so within this loop we are populate uh, list with random letters but these are only capital letters letters only all right so uh, i mean we could do also lowercase but you know uh why to and then we would we, we could compare them too i mean uh, lowercase letters have different values and uh they they're not sequential i mean they are in a in a in that it starts uh, over here it's 97 is lowercase a and z is 122 but we would have to deal with uh, the gap between you know the 65 for capital a and 90 for for z but then you have 91 92 and, and so forth to 96 which are uh, some other characters not these are not letters these are just like brackets and stuff so we would have to take that into account so uh, but in this case we still get all the alphabet and uh, we are randomly creating the letters and assign them to our uh, to our list all right so uh, now we can do the uh, first uh, thing which is to use the link to sort the list in ascending order uh, so uh, we will do uh, well they want us to use the link so let's do, let's use that uh, so we will do a query uh, equals from I'll call it LT for letter in letters which is our uh, list and will the command f uh, oh, I forgot R the command to uh, sort things in a query is simply order by the the letter descending that's the first one descending right up oh, it's the ascending actually sorry so the first one is uh, we don't even have to actually specify this by default but uh, this will make it clear okay so and we will of course select the letter so this is this is the whole query to uh, sort the list of characters in ascending order but uh, just so we can see what letters are uh, being uh, used I'm going to this is like a this is going to be my uh, control control display um, I'm simply going to uh, do a little for each loop for to display the random letters in a random order like in in the in order they are being placed so in uh, a variable I'll just call it element uh, in letters and console the oops that's the next line uh, see what I do console dot uh, write and in one line we will simply do the element uh, or display the element but uh, I will also add a space in between again what, what this is going to do is simply going to take the letters uh, list and display it one by one in one line and this is has nothing to do with the exercise but uh, since these are randomly populated we will be able to watch uh, whether the queries are working or not okay so uh, we have that uh, so this is the sort ascending now uh, what's the next one to sort in descending so you know that's uh <laughs> that's the really same thing uh so i'll just create another query uh i'll call it query two and it's gonna be the same thing except it, it will say descending so from letter in uh, letters and uh, we'll do order by descending and we will select the letter okay so this is the descending uh, sort uh, 
descending. So that's uh, that's fairly straightforward. Uh, there's really nothing to it. And um, so we have the, the ascending, uh, the descending order, and um, finally the query that we need is to uh, display the list in ascending order, which means A through Z, with, uh, with the duplicates removed. So, to remove the duplicates, we'll create another, so this is remove duplicates, and we will do our thread query. Uh, now, in order to do this, uh, what we are going to be basically selecting is distinct values. So if there's, let's say, two A's, it will only pick one, only one distinct value. So we, we'll start, uh, we'll do the query just like we did before from uh, the LT in letters. And uh, we will do the order by LT and they want it ascending. And again, we don't have to specify ascending, but uh, you know, it's a, uh, it makes it more uh, kind of visible that this is what uh, what we are doing. Oh, except I have two order by, so that's our ascending, and we will select the LT. Now this is one command. I put it all in a bracket because after this is executed, we will do a dot and distinct, and this will only this will so this will select all the letters. Uh, sorts them out uh, alphabetically A through Z and then at the end it will uh, remove the duplicates it will only keep the one distinct value so these are our queries but uh, if I run it now uh, all I get is the uh, display of the random letters that are being uh, being selected by the by the program oh I forgot my console dot read line uh, just to pause the screen so here's our 30 letters and you can see the random uh, I'm sure there's, there's some duplicates let's say C is here first and last is C uh, there's uh, uh, are there any others as X here let's X here so these are the random numbers that the computer selected. Now the query is actually ran, uh, uh, didn't even run because uh, we are not displaying anything. We are doing the queries, but we are not displaying the results. And so to display the results, uh, it's an, we simply will do a for each loop for each of those queries. So for each var e in uh, this one is the first query so in our first query and we will simply console write uh, the element so e and I'll space it out uh, between the two so if I run it now we should get the the values that the computer randomly selects and uh, uh, oh you know what they all they just continue because uh, Remember, this is only console.write, we are writing in one line, but after that, we need to add an empty line, like move to a new line, so console.write line. And I'll copy paste it uh, after this too. So here's the random AFM, whatever, and here it is in ascending order. We have three A's, three B's, one C, and so forth, uh, and we also have Z. So this is sorted in alphabetical orders, but with all the duplicates still being there. So uh, I'm, I'm going to copy-paste the whole block from for each, Oops. and I'll paste it for our second query, except this one will loop for query two. And it's the same thing. So now we will have three lines. The first one is the random generated number uh, letters. Second one is ascending from A through Z, and the third one is from Z through A in descending. Now, uh, 
Let's do the last one, which should be with the duplicates removed. And uh, so it's not, uh, oh, you know what? It didn't remove the duplicates because I did not change. We are actually looping through query two, which is simply displaying it in a descending order. The query with the distinct values is called query three. So I have to go to a for each loop and actually display query three, not query two. So uh, here it is, our random letters ascending with duplicates, descending with duplicates, and finally ascending without duplicates, only uh, unique distinct values. Like we can say that A was their duplicate, there was it twice, but on this line it's only once. The same with B, C, D, there were three Ds, but now we have only one and so forth. So yeah, this is the whole assignment. There is really nothing else to do. Uh, yeah, just these three. So let's uh, recap. We have a list of characters. Uh, we have a random generator and uh, our letter that we'll, we will use in a loop to kind of get the single letter that we are going to be assigned to a list. We do that over here in our loop. Uh, we will randomly generate a number from 65 to 90, which are corresponding values for capital A through capital Z. And then it will cast it to our character, which will save it into our character, uh, uh, into a variable of character called letter. And then we will add that letter to our list. So at the end of the loop, uh, when this loop uh, finishes its last iteration, we will have a, a list of 30 char char characters that are randomly generated and assigned to a character value, not just an integer value. So now then we go, uh, well, this is just a control loop. Uh, we're simply uh, looping through the list and see what num what the what letters were generated so we can kind of make sure that our queries are working correctly. Our first query simply gets or goes through all the letters in that list and orders them uh, ascending. It does not remove any duplicates. It doesn't do anything else. It will simply return a sorted list in ascending order. Over here we simply display that list, or we display the query that is sorted. Over here we do the same thing, but we uh, do it uh, in descending order. And finally our thread query, uh, it selects uh, the letters. This portion is the f same like the ascending order here. It simply goes through the, through the list, orders them, uh, orders the letters in ascending order and then <clears throat> at the end it assigns the uh, command called distinct which basically only selects the distinct values uh, so if there's uh, any value uh, repeated like let's say a a and a then uh, only one a will be selected and over here we, we use another for each loop to display the result of the query three all right, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, and if you liked it, please like the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.